Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss how to install Aureus ERP on your local server. This is the official repository, and here you can see the latest code according to the available versions. The list of versions will be visible here. The new release hasn't come out yet, but once it does, it will appear in the version list. To download the code, click on the code button. You can either clone the repository or download it as a zip file. I'll explain how to install it using the downloaded zip file. So, I've downloaded the latest code. Now I'm going into my downloads folder. Here is the zip file. We need to extract this file into a specific folder. I'm showing you this on Linux, but the directory paths will vary depending on your system. For example, on Windows, it should go inside the htdocs folder. Similarly, on macOS, the folder location may differ. Each operating system uses different folder structure for these files. Now I am going to open this folder. Here is the list of code files available, and I'm pasting them here. I'm deleting the old one, and now all the updated code is present. You can rename this particular folder if you want, I'm renaming it to Aureus ERP, but you can choose any folder name based on your preference. Next, I'm going to open this folder in VS Code. Here is Visual Studio Code, but you can use any code editor you prefer, such as Sublime Text or VS Code. Now the list of folders and files is visible. You'll notice a file named .env.example. In lines 24 to 29, there is some commented code. I am uncommenting it, and now I'm changing the DB connection to MySQL. Here is the database name. I haven't created the database yet, but I'm going to create it now with the name Aureus ERP. This same database name will be used in the configuration. Below that, there's the DB username and other credentials. These are the same as your PHP My Admin login. I've filled in all the required details. Now I'm heading to PHP My Admin to create the database using the same name I just entered in the configuration file. Select the unique collation as per your requirements and click Create. The Aureus ERP database will be created successfully. First open the terminal, navigate to the Aureus ERP directory, and run the following command. Composer create dash project. This command installs all the necessary dependencies for Aureus ERP. Once the command runs successfully, you'll see that two things are created, a .env file and a vendor folder. The .env file is generated automatically after running the command. Open this file. It contains the same configuration details we entered earlier, and you can verify them here. Now I'm going to run one more command, php artisan erp colon install. This command installs all the required tables inside the database. Run the command and the migration process will begin. It will create all the necessary tables automatically. You can verify that the list of tables has been created successfully. Now you'll be prompted to choose which panel you want to generate permissions or policies for. You can select either admin or customer. Right now I'm choosing admin, so it will also install the remaining dependencies. Next, you'll be asked to provide admin user credentials. Enter the admin name, email address, and password. That's all. Aureus ERP system installation is now completed successfully. However, to run it on your local server, there's one more command you need to execute. php artisan serve. This command is required to run the system in a local development environment. I'm running this command now, and it will generate a local URL. Aureus ERP will run on this URL. You can open it in a browser tab. Once opened, you'll see the login screen. Enter the same credentials you just configured to log in via the admin panel. Enter the password, and optionally select Remember Me as per your preference. Click Sign In, and that's it. Aureus ERP has been installed successfully. And that's all about the installation of Aureus ERP. I hope you like it. If you have any queries, please contact us at support at webcoal.com or raise a ticket at webcoal.uvdesk.com. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.